If I want to solve something that looks like this, I can use proportional reasoning to help me out. This one works out particularly well because if I look at the fraction on the left, I notice the numerator is a factor of the 15 in the numerator on the right. Therefore, I can do this. By multiplying the numerator and denominator on the left by 3, I can get an equivalent fraction, which is equal to 15 over 54. Therefore, 15 over 54 must be the same as 15 over x plus 2. Because I have a 15 in both numerators, the only way for this to be true is for x plus 2 to actually equal 54. Now I have a very simple equation to solve. Subtracting 2 from each side tells me that x must be equal to 52. Let's take a look at another example where it doesn't work out quite so easily. In this equation, 6 does not go directly into 20, or 6 is not a factor of 20. Therefore, we're going to need a different approach. And what I could suggest here is that we remember the cross product property. Our cross product property says the products, when multiplying diagonally, so multiplying this way and this way, are going to be equal to one another. So let's go ahead and take the cross products and set them equal. 20 times x minus 3 in parentheses must equal 6 times 9, which is 54. My next step, I could handle a couple of ways. I could distribute the 20 on the left side of the equation, or I can simply divide both sides by 20. I'm going to choose the latter. I'm going to divide both sides by 20 which cancels over here, leaving me with x minus 3 equals 54 divided by 20, which is 2.7. Now I can simply add 3 to both sides. And on the left side, the 3 cancels, leaves me with x equal 2.7 plus 3, or 5.7. And that is our answer, x is equal to 5.7. So I can, if it works out nicely, I can use proportional reasoning to set the uh, fractions with an equal numerator, equal denominator, and solve from there. But if that does not work, I can always rely on my cross products property in order to solve an equation like this, which involves ratios and a variable. Thank you.